And one, I'm hoping you're seeing this okay. So I thought for this week's chit chat video, I would put a cover on my part two of my junky diary journal ebook. Um, it did have some paper inside with hearts on, but I didn't really like it. And it also had it on the back as well, so I've just taken them off. And I'm going to put something, decorate this part of the cover. So I'm hoping you can see that okay because obviously it's clear. And I just realised I haven't got my stickers out because I want my um, stickers. So sorry, I just realised I didn't have that. So I've now got those because I plan to put them on there somewhere. So what I've got is some bits from a hunky dory kit that came in a magazine quite a while ago. Um, the cover's A5 but I've cut my paper a little bit smaller so obviously it won't be rubbing on the, um, what are they called? Anyway this bit, spirally bit, that I do. So um, me be me, I'm going to ink round the edge because that seems to be the thing I'm into at the moment. And yet again I'm using my Dew Drop ink pads. Um, two shades of purple, uh, Lulu Lavender and Sweet Plum. So yeah, I'll just want to go around the edge a bit. I'm not going perfectly because some of this will be covered up and I'm not sure how it's going to be on this paper because it's hunky-dory and it's got a bit of a gloss to it so I might just have to buff it with some kitchen towel. Oh no, it's not too bad. It's, I was thinking it was going to be like the um, Tim Holtz things that sometimes obviously stay a bit wet, but the dew drops seem to dry fairly quickly, so I'm just going to add a bit of the darker colour. So, my question as always is, what have you been up to? How are things with you? Um... I haven't really done overly much. Today's Wednesday the 27th and I'm yet again going to do like a whole load of videos today and then upload them in the week. Um, so I'm on, on a bit of a quiet sort of week because unfortunately on Monday I had one of my drops walking home on some concrete and gravel so I'm a little bit bruised and battered but I'm just worn out now, which is how I get with my cat after I've had a spout with my cataplexy. Um, just gonna, sorry, I was thinking then. Yeah, so yeah, right, that sort of taken its toll on me, and obviously um, I just find I'm a bit slower at the moment. I haven't. Sometimes I can have like thirty. I normally have 30 light little ones a day minimum, which are okay. They do, they are draining, which is a bit annoying. But I sort of plan around it because my heart problems always made me um, sort of tired and stuff. Anyway, back to my um, drama of having my drop on the way home. I had Lexi with me. Luckily, her lead's got like two handles down there. And I had her on both hands through not both hands but each hand through a different handle on her lead uh, so she didn't run off when I had my drop and she was really good really overprotective when help came but as soon as I came to a bit and told her that mummy was okay she calmed down so a lady came to our rescue who was really sweet and offered to walk me back home but I just wasn't up to walking and also at the same time, um, two drivers from Primacare came up and helped me home, which was really sweet. So it does go to show you've got nice people out there. So obviously I've been feeling a little bit um, run down sort of thing. So, and now, uh, so I'm just getting a couple of borders from that. Um, yeah, so it just proved that Lexi will stay nearby me and be very overprotective of her mummy, which is very sweet. 
because obviously she's been spending a lot of time with my parents because um, things haven't been too great but she's coming home more often now so I'm just dithering of where I want this border because I definitely want this border on here I'm just wondering whether to have this one on top or save that for something else I do quite like that on top no I don't so I, like I said I'm dithering here now so I'm going to have that on there and I know it's not the whole thing so I'm using like a mixture of tapes and stuff um, so other than my drop this week and um, seeing my mum obviously off and on because she's one of my carers um, I haven't really oh, this is going to be a pain to stick now because I've put um, stupid me I forgot this doesn't stick too well on top of ink um, yeah so I haven't really done that much I did go to my Stampin' Up class Monday night because I rested after my bad turn so that was good fun so I'll show those cards in um, another video and I'm just trying to get this stupid tape off never mind we'll get there eventually how long do you want to sit here and watch me try and take tape off okay if this idea doesn't no it's not gonna oh it has no it hasn't so that idea hasn't worked so I think I'm gonna have to go to high tack tape or she um, might stick it to this and only do some because I can cut the bit off I don't want yeah so I haven't done overly much this week I'm just sort of taking it easy so I haven't really got much to say on that front um, this weekend mum and I hope to get some planters for the garden I'm just cutting those bits off yeah so we hope to do that um, get some planters for that maybe some flowers it just depends on what the money situation's like uh, so there's a couple of corners in the garden I want to cover up so yeah these toppers were also from from that hunky dory kit I don't know what it was called because it was free in a magazine so it didn't actually say where it was you know what was going to go on with it I think I will add some lace because I like to add something to um, my covers I don't mind my covers being too bulky because I set um, with my dear diary junkie stuff I obviously haven't got room to keep the whole load in the home so they sort of will go in a box and then when the box is full it will what will I do with it it'll go in a box and in the garage but my garage is quite secure um you know it's secure damp wise I mean um sorry I was going to hear a couple of so yeah that's what I do with them when they get a bit full I then I don't put them straight in a box I um, get those you know those back bags you can seal so they're really secure things obviously I don't want to get um, damp into that side there so yeah so um hoping to get some plants and stuff for the garden just to cover up some corners that Lexi could sneak through as on Monday I'm having some friends round for sounds a bit posh but I don't mean it in a posh way afternoon tea so like just some cake and tea and a chit chat so they can um come see my new place because they haven't seen it yet um so I'm hoping to slow it because I've got some other friends that would like to come but the, there's only so even though it's a nice size bungalow there's only so much space but on Monday my friends that are coming if one friend's got two dogs two labs Florence and Tallulah and then the other friends have also got a lab chalk lab called I think this one's called Ruby or it might be called Tess I've sort of lost tracks they've had a couple of dogs um 
so they're becoming so let's see I'll also have doggy friends so that'd be quite sweet for her so I'm just going to see how I'm doing on the time but I haven't got the foggiest because I didn't know what time I started so um just going to move that to one side because I won't get my thickers and I think I'm going to do white ones so I can colour it in purple so now it's the fun of finding zeros um, so I want to put 2016 on it that's why I normally buy things in white so I can just colour it and mix them up from there so I'm just going to get a purpley pro marker Oh, I didn't realise I even had that on. Anyway, I'm just going to test this colour. So I'm doing that off camera. That's not the right colour. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to... Oh, I was in the wrong bit anyway. I was in the pink, so not the purple. Sorry, I'm muttering to myself now. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be quite good fun because I haven't seen um, some of them for quite a while. So it's really nice to catch up and stuff so yeah let me know um if you like this video give me a thumbs up and let me know how you're getting on what crafty stuff you're up to and yeah i just thought i would do a cover this time rather than a card just for something a bit different to chat and do but you might think oh crumbs I was a bit dull yeah so just let me know um how you're getting on what you're up to how you how your animals are if you have animals if you like animals if you don't who knows um I'm just making a lot talking a load of gobbledygook now I think um so what else have I got to say oh yes yeah, so my stamping up class was really good fun so I will um do a video of that because yet again I am just finding it so much easier just to you, you know um it's just easier to do them all in one day and then slowly upload them it that, that really does seem to be working for me and I'm definitely I share these videos on like um google plus or whatever it is um what else yeah, so I share them on their Twitter and stuff like that and my blog because I just have, haven't got time to do videos and then do cards and stuff because in between times I do sort of need, like I said, I need to rest quite a bit with how my condition is. So, um, yeah, people think, oh, well, if you're just sitting crafting, you can't get that tired. Well that's where they're not right because unfortunately I do get tired and I've got friends who've got ME and MS and the fibre oh I can never say it thing fibromyalgia stuff um I'm just thinking what else I want to add on this so yeah you um you do get tired with it oh, excuse me so I do sort of plan my day as best I can to go oh well I need to um rest up today or stuff like that so I just I just take it steady and like I'll do the videos today and after I've done all my videos I'll have a rest so it sounds really odd to some people um but anyway I don't want to be dwelling on my health all the time so I've got that bling there and I think I want to add some bling there just to hold those down a bit so it's um, I don't think I want pearls. I definitely want it all blingy. Sorry, you can tell I'm dithering again. I'm sure you're getting used to my dithering. At least I haven't gone made any of my odd sounds that I normally make when I dither. I haven't got any purple ones, but I think I can get away with pink ones. So, oh, my glue dots. There they are. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, I had to count out aloud then. So, yeah, that's really pretty much all I've got to say. So I'm just going to glue these. Oops, stuck like that. Oh, no, 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 no. You can see how people get on telly when they're doing things live and things go wrong. Oh, this is sticking to everywhere where I, where I want. 
Yes, so my plan for, um, so I'm scrubbing around for pink ones actually, so I'm not purple at all because I just said there's no purple in here. Um, yes, um, yes, yeah, so for my plans for August, depending on money situation and what I get, um, James Seabrett yarn and Attic 24 have had this kit for a while and it's um, it's a cushion kit so you knit um, pillow cushion whatever you want to call it to cover um, I think of it, my brain's just gone yeah so you it comes with the actual cushion and the wool to make the cover the buttons and everything so I'd like to get one of those and some James Seabrook yarn and some patterns because I've only been crocheting like two years but I haven't made, I've made shawls so I don't know if some people would consider that clothing or not. So if not, um, I want to sort of try and give a garment a go and I thought I'd give baby ones a go first because they're a little bit smaller and I know I could sell them. So yeah, I'm just will finish up saying on what I'm doing on August and then I'm going, yes, that's what I hope to buy in August. The cushion yarn pack, some James Seabrook yarn because I like that for hats and shawls and a couple of patterns. So that's, that might take up the whole of August budget. If it doesn't and I've got a little bit left over, then there are some stamping up items or maybe some stuff from Craft Obsessions, I'm not sure yet. But it definitely will be a yarn haul for next month. As soon as some pennies get sorted because a few things have gone a bit tips up as usual. Anyway, so yes, I've finished this. Um, so I think I said, uh, yeah, so these bits here and that bit were from Hunky Dory. These aren't actually thick as they're just stickers that I've probably got from Hobby Craft Direct. Um, Coloured with my pro markers. The bling is from the works for this bling is this bling is hobby craft the lace trim is wild orchids so i think i've bored you all enough now so i will see you all again soon with a different video take care give us a thumb up subscribe if you're not a subscriber bye